All right, welcome back to New Touch Center tutorial. And in this one, we're going to look at a technique called circuit banding, if I pronounce that correctly. And um, it's actually a technique that's that's mostly used in um, or that comes from the analog world. So it's like you know messing with uh, like video devices physically. That's that's usually how you achieve this look, or like you know um, changing wires and um, you know actually just destroying the machine basically. So there's a lot of videos about that on YouTube, um, doing that in an analog way and uh, recreating that in other software. I haven't really seen anything like this in touch. So, um, I mean, there's glitch effects out there, loads of them, but um, yeah, I, I think it's just kind of fun to, to, to mess around with this and I kind of like the outcome. So um, anyways, uh, this is all gonna be done in tops basically and there's is a lot of uh, like feedback and mostly displacement and and some resolution change and, and stuff like that so without further talking let's just get going what i did i uh, put this into a base so it's a bit more a bit less messy and i took like a video from the internet uh from pexels.com so if you want to have some kind of free video that's a great resource i can link that in the description and what i want to do here is create a null right click anywhere and collapse this and call it like circuit bending and uh, actually I also want to have an out I forgot to do that so an out have another now all right so I'm, I'm not gonna like add any custom parameters or controls or anything but I will upload a sort of finished uh, product uh, like an FX you can just download from patreon so yeah if you want to check that out right so let's keep this null let's just call it like input so if you want to ever change what's coming in here and um let's just give this a color let's get rid of this connection for now and let's start with the first step so for the first effect so this is sort of going to be like five or uh, four or five steps um so the first one is going to be the a feedback step <laughs> So I'm gonna add this feedback and I'm already gonna uh, add a keyboard in just so we can easily reset this feedback um, by pressing one or a keyboard. And then I'm going to add a level, a limit, and a comp. And I'm just gonna copy this limit, connect it here, and put that in here. This level, I mean, yeah. I'm gonna like increase the brightness a bit and I'm gonna go to the comp and change the operation to difference. So now if we do reconnect this and turn the display on, we can see we get this sort of interesting color look thing. And uh, now what we wanna do is a little trigger warning or like seizure warning. Uh, it's gonna blink quite rapidly. Um, and now what we wanna do, like we can go to our transform in the comp. We can also just add a transform in here. Let's just bypass this limit for a second. Uh, let's change this to pixels. Let's change this to repeat. And now let's change this to four by six, for example. And now you can already see this cool sort of like, I don't know how to call this effect, but you can see it happening. <laughs> um, so it's kind of too much for my taste. So we can go to our level here and go down to opacity to like 0.8. And then we get a really pretty cool look. We can also add like a blur in here to, to sort of round off the edges a bit maybe just do that to like two <clears throat> looks a bit more analog and the other thing is um there's two things we can do now you can go to limit and quantize the shit out of this <laughs> um and just go up with this to like make it more crazy so yeah this is some fun glitching right so let's bypass this let's go to our palette to um image filters and let's drag in sharpen Put that in here and here and now you can go up with the sharpen amount and that's also going to add some interesting effect here i i'm and i can't say i think this is pretty but it's still fun <laughs> all right so let's just get rid of this for now i'm kind of happy with this so this is the first step let's add um some first displacement with a feedback loop. So we're gonna build a little feedback loop and use that to displace what we've done so far. So let's add another feedback from here with the middle mouse. 
and let's also use our channel here to post this and um, in this feedback loop I want to have a noise and I want to have a transform I want to round this stuff up with a comp that's also set to difference and let's pipe that back in here and uh, before we get a seizure again uh, let's make some changes to our noise so I'm going to change the period here to uh, like 0.8 or something or whatever and uh, the harmonics to like 6 let's just keep it to 2 whatever and um, let's go down with the amplitude to like 0.1 and we want to keep it monochrome, but we want to change the... Um, no, we don't actually want to change the output. We want to go ahead and uh, change the translation here to ABS time dot seconds. And um, just make this a bit slower, like point times point 0.2. And the same thing for TZ. So now we get these sort of clouds in front of the mountains or whatever you have as an input. And then I'm going to change the scale and go down to like zero here. So we get these sort of scan lines. And uh, what we also want to do is we want to change the offset to like zero. And what we now want to do is go and drag this on back into the feedback. So we get this sort of look. And then change this to pixels on our, like the translation to on our transform to pixels. And let's change this to like six. And then if we press one, we get these, this really interesting sort of grainy feedbackish look. Um, yeah. So maybe we could even try putting that back in here. Yeah, whatever. Let's just keep it this way. And um, what we now want to do is add a displace after our uh, comp one and displace the image with this. So it's first going to be a bit too extreme. So we just want to go down to 0.01 on both of these. So now we just get a really subtle, glitchy kind of look. Um, but uh, yeah, it, I, it really makes a difference, even though it's subtle. So we might want to go ahead and add a transform here and set this to repeat and just translate it a bit to the left. So let's set this to pixels. Uh, whoops, uh, sorry about that. So just, we just like sort of push it back into the center, right? So it looks a bit better. Okay, so that was our first displacement. Let's get to our second displacement. That's which is going to be less subtle. So I'm going to add a noise from here. You know, it actually doesn't matter. Let's add it from here, just or here. <laughs> we just want to have the resolution, right? So yeah, that's a good place to dock on. So let's change this to just noise. Just noise things. <laughs> I'm going to set the scale down to um, zero here. And um, this scale to like uh, 0.2. So it looks like that. Then I'm going to go ahead and uh, again type abs time dot seconds. And uh, we want to have to send kind of fast. So I'm going to change it to something like that, like, you know, just add that in here without multiplication. And let's go to our noise here and change a few things. So I want to go down with the period to like 0.6, uh, go down with the harmonics to one. Let's change our uh, amplitude to like two and um, 0.2. We're going to get back to that. Let's change our offset to zero. Okay, so that's looking good. Let's uh, now just copy this, put that in here, and change the scale here to 1 and this to 0. So we get these uh, vertical scan lines. Then I'm going to add a displace from here, put this in here, and um, now we want to change this to 0 and this to like 0 0.02. So it's really quite subtle here. So we just get these horizontal scan lines that are slightly displaced. By the way, we want to make sure that's actually, yeah, let's actually add a res here, a resolution, and go to common and change the pixel format to 32 bit float, just so the displacement looks a bit better. Okay, so let's now go ahead and add another displace here. 
So as I said, it's a lot of displacement. And displace our image here with this. And let's... Um, uh, what we also want to do is actually add a slope here. All right, so let's set the strength to 100. And um, basically, uh, there we go. What we want to do now, um, because it's sort of like a bit too much, we can go and add a level, go down with the brightness and um, up with the contrast. All right, we're gonna uh, come back to this in a second um, because now it's like, it's still a bit too much, right? It's still like constantly going. So what we wanna do is um, create some kind of logic so it only like appears sometimes, this effect. Also, this is actually kind of too slow for me. I want this to go faster. Maybe point, I don't know, whatever. Okay, let's uh, add another displace because it's just so much fun, whoops. You can also just copy this. And um, let's go ahead and from here add another noise. And on this noise, I'm going to go down with the period just a bit. Again, I'm going to... Uh, actually, what we can do, we can just copy this noise. Put that in here. And... Um, we can maybe get rid of that and just change this to frame because it's a lot faster so we get this really like crazy crazy stuff <laughs> uh, let's go down with the harmonics we don't need any harmonics here and um yeah we we can go up with the scale here so we just get these sort of lines and um yeah so now we can add that here and um just go down with the displacement to zero here and like to a point zero one here so you sort of get these like vertical flickering so if i turn this off it just looks like there's some kind of if i just get rid of this you know it's kind of this buzz and again subtlety really makes the difference especially in analog art so right um <clears throat> what i want to do is i want to have these both at the same time. I want to like only turn them on sometimes. So I'm going to add another noise. This one I'm going to set to one by one. And I'm going to convert this to a chop. Let's get rid of all these channels. Whoops. And so we just have R. Let's add a null here and use this channel on the amplitude. And now on uh, what we want to do, we're going to go to our noise here. I want to change a few things again. So first off, we want to change the um, uh, animation. So ABS time dot seconds times point five maybe, and go to our noise here and go get rid of the harmonics, and uh, let's go down with the exponent quite a bit to like point one, and uh, let's go and change our offset to zero and our amplitude to like 0.1 as well and now let's uh, also use the same channel on the amplitude of our noise too so now you can see only if this like hits white the uh, effect is actually like happening you know I want to go down a bit with the yeah. this is looking pretty good this is pretty good. <laughs> okay, so um, this is a nice way to only show this stuff once in a while. Okay, so we're done with displacing, <coughs> displacement. Well, what we can do now is uh, add a transform. And this is really quite the extreme effect. Uh, we can go to uh, our tiling and change this to repeat. And then we can uh, go ahead and just like go to yeah, we can actually go to fraction. Let me just quickly check here. And um, we can change this and like go make this, make the whole screen, if I just uh, go ahead and bypass this, we can make the whole screen sort of go up and and down, sort of like a, like this. A, I don't know. I don't know what's happening in the analog world for this to appear. <laughs> There's actual like problem or glitch, but uh, we can, we can, make that 
just happened here. <laughs> so I'm going to just copy and paste this. Um, and let's just change the seed here. And um, maybe the period, that's nah, all fine. We, we might want to add some harmonics here. I don't know, something like this. And um, yeah, let's go ahead and use this on the translation here. So like whenever this hits white, uh, the translation is happening. We can make the exponent go a bit higher. Uh, actually, no. We, we can even go down into minus a bit, so it happens even less. Because it's quite a strong effect, so we don't want to have that happen all the time. But yeah, um, what we can also do is... Uh, no, I'm actually, I'm, I'm fine with this. So, mess around with this more if you want to. Um, right, so let's have a look at a lookup, <coughs> which is like basically the most extreme thing you can do here. Uh, we might want to add a noise again. <laughs> let's change this to like 10 by 1. Let us make this uh, monochrome, not monochrome, maybe even like 5 by 1. And I'll put that in here. And now we get this uh, cool color look. We can uh, maybe go down to the exponent, uh, the offset to make it like darker. We can change this. We can change the period. We can change all of these parameters, and yeah, it makes uh, for a pretty cool color effect, right? Um, so yeah, feel free to play around with that. And uh, last but not least, before we do that, actually, let's let me add a level here because um, we can just add a bit more contrast and brightness, maybe a bit less. Okay. Last but not least, we, we want to add a resolution here, because you know old uh, fuck, old <laughs> old fuck, old um, come, like TVs are often you know quite a shitty resolution. So we we just want to replicate that by adding a res. We can go down to like half. So now we only have like a uh, like a small resolution. So we might want to go and put that back and by why. Uh, you can just use a fit for that. And we want to have the same output resolution as we have as an input. So we have our input here, right? So uh, we can just type a little expression, op, input, and then dot width. Let's just copy this and write height here. And now we can uh, just leave it at fit best. And this way we have the same resolution in the, as in the beginning, but it looks a bit worse. <laughs> so perfect. <laughs> all right. So <clears throat> yeah, we're we're pretty much done. So let's uh, get all the effects back here. And um, now it's really on you to mess around with this as much as you can. Um, you can change all the noises. There's uh, on almost endless. Uh, not really, but there's a lot of parameters you can now uh, play with to make this different, add more displacements, uh, add different colors, um, mess around with the transform, and uh, more feedback stuff. You know, just go crazy, please. Yeah, so it's really fun. and. I hope you don't get get a seizure. And uh, it's not <laughs> whatever. Anyways, um, I hope you enjoyed this tutorial. If you want to have this just as an effect with custom parameters and stuff, you can uh, check that on the Patreon, where you also get some other cool things. And um, yeah, I really hope you enjoyed this video, and I see you on the next one. <laughs>